Active Backup for Microsoft 365 is a package on Synology NAS that allows you to backup and locally store your Microsoft 365 data, including OneDrive, Mail, Contacts, Calendars, Sites, and Teams. With unlimited user account backups and no license fees, you can easily protect all of your Microsoft 365 data in one place. In this video, we'll show you how to create backup tasks in the package and restore data via the recovery portal. You'll find the timestamps for each section in the video description. Before you start, make sure your NAS is running DSM 6.2 or above and has active backup for Microsoft 365 installed. See the list of compatible models in the video description for details. Let's start by creating a backup task. Launch Active Backup for Microsoft 365. Go to Task List and click Create. Select Create a Backup Task and click Next. Select your Microsoft 365 endpoint. Set a certificate password for authentication and then click Next. Sign into Microsoft 365 as a global admin. Click Accept if you agree to the permission request. Download and keep your certificate in a secure place. Configure the task name, backup destination, and backup list. Enable the active backup for Microsoft 365 portal for restoration purposes. If you backup Microsoft Teams, you'll have to submit a request for Teams data, since Microsoft considers it as sensitive data. Enable Auto Discovery for services as needed. When enabled, New Sites, Teams, and the selected services of new users and groups will be automatically included in the backup list. Set up backup and retention policies. You can choose between continuous, manual, or scheduled backups. With continuous backups, data are backed up continuously in an infinite cycle and the system adjusts backup intervals between 1 to 10 minutes based on the API request rate detected from the last backup. With manual backups, data are backed up immediately when you manually run the task. With scheduled backups, data are backed up based on the schedule you set. Configure your retention policy. In this example, we chose Keep All Versions. For more information about retention policies, refer to the Quick Start Guide in the video description. Make sure the settings are correct and click Done to finish the task setup. Once you've completed a backup, you can restore or export files via the Active Backup for Microsoft 365 portal. We will demonstrate by restoring some emails. Select an account from the View Role drop-down menu. DSM administrators can switch to any backup user to browse and restore their data. Select the task you want to restore from the Task drop-down menu. Click on the Services icon and select the service you want to restore. Archived mailboxes are included in the Mail category. To view previous versions, drag the timeline to the left or right Click the arrows or click the calendar icon to choose a specific date. You can search for a specific email by using the search bar. 
or you can click on the search icon to choose from different filters. Here, we filtered by keyword. Once you've found the email you want to restore, double-click on it to view its content. Click Restore to restore to the original tenant. Or click Export to export it to your device. Non-administrative DSM user accounts can also be granted access to the active backup for Microsoft 365 Portal, allowing them to restore data on their own for increased efficiency. If you have a large number of users who need to perform self-service recovery, you can join your Synology NAS to Microsoft Azure AD domain services. Users can then access the active backup for Microsoft 365 Portal using their Microsoft 365 accounts and restore files on their own. For detailed instructions, see the article on Implementing SSO with Azure AD Domain Services in the video description. In just a few steps, Active Backup from Microsoft 365 makes it easy to quickly set up a safe and secure backup environment. To learn more about Active Backup from Microsoft 365, subscribe to the Synology YouTube channel or click on another video to keep watching.